So at the 2019 Mecham Glendale auction, there's lots of trucks, lots of SUVs. I'm here with Katie Osborne. Katie, I know you love going off-road. I know you love those off-road rigs. There's one behind us that you got a chance to look at a couple weeks ago. Tell me about it. <laughs> it is. It's a special It's a special Bronco. It's a 68 Ford Bronco that I actually was sent on social media. Uh, I had posted a photo of another white Bronco, and the current owner said, hey, you got to check this out. This one's coming to Phoenix Glendale. Make sure you get eyes on it when you get there. And I will tell you, the pictures didn't even do it justice. Katie, let's start with what's under hood. Yeah, this is one of those Broncos that, in my opinion, is made to be driven. This is one of those Broncos that definitely has some power under it. It's a 302. It creates about 350 horsepower. Uh, it's an automatic transmission. And you can tell that this was definitely a frame-off nut and bolt restoration. And I know it's been lifted up. Any idea how many inches? Yeah, I was hearing that it's a four-inch lift. It's really a well-done 68 Bronco. And I think the half cab really allows it to kind of have another sort of presence. Sleek, clean, and sexy are a few unique words to be using with a Bronco, but this definitely exemplifies those. Talking about the inside, Katie, I know a lot of work's been done. What did you see when you opened up the doors? You know what I really like about this Bronco uh, is the interior and the white stitching. I'm one of those people that I really like matchy-matchy on cars or trucks or vehicles, and I think this really ties it all together. So the interior is nice, the seats are comfortable, the digital components to the dash are really nice. So again, if you're gonna go out and drive this thing, it's gonna be a comfortable ride. Now, Katie, you had a chance to talk to the owner of this Bronco, and he had some thoughts on where he hopes it ends up. Yeah, the current owner was saying that obviously there's a whole lot of love, a lot of time and effort was put into this Bronco, and he thinks it actually would be good in a garage and maybe driven around the block a few times. In my opinion, Broncos are also made to be driven. So it'll be interesting to see what the new owner does. And if you're the new owner, you probably should let us know what you end up doing with the 68 Bronco. All right. Thanks, Katie. Should be crossing the block soon.